Beta decay. There are two types of beta decay, beta minus and beta plus. First I'll look at beta minus decay. The beta minus particle is an electron. A neutron in the nucleus, this one here I've circled in black, is going to turn into a proton ejecting the beta minus. An electron antineutrino is also ejected. So it turns into a proton. This is the beta minus. I've not shown the neutrino in this animation. We can write a general equation for beta minus decay like this. The parent x with atomic number z and mass number a becomes daughter y. The mass number doesn't change as a neutron with mass 1 becomes a proton also with mass 1. However, the atomic number or number of protons has increased by 1. This is the beta particle and this is the electron anti-neutrino. You see that the equation balances as z is equal to z plus 1 minus 1 and a is equal to a plus naught. Looking at a specific case, carbon-14 undergoes beta decay to become nitrogen-14. In terms of quarks, a neutron consists of an up and two downs, and a proton is two ups and a down. So in beta-minus decay, a down quark has changed flavour to become an up quark. This is a weak interaction involving the weak force. Now beta plus decay. A beta plus particle is an anti-electron. This is antimatter. It's also got its own name of positron. A proton in the nucleus, this one circled in black, will become a neutron ejecting the beta plus particle. An electron neutrino in this case is also ejected. So, the proton becomes a neutron, ejecting the positron. Again, I've not shown the electron neutrino. In terms of the general equation, we have parent x, with atomic number z and mass number a, becoming daughter y. In this case, one of the protons, which appears in the atomic number, has become a neutron, which doesn't show. So the atomic number drops by 1. To make it balance, the beta plus particle has an atomic number of plus 1. So z is equal to z minus 1 plus 1. Again, atomic mass A is equal to A plus 0. This is the electron neutrino. No bar across the top because the bar indicates the antimatter. Looking at a specific decay, we have sodium 22 which becomes neon 22, ejecting the beta plus and the electron neutrino. In terms of quarks, a proton is two up and a down quark, and a neutron is one up and two downs. So now in beta plus decay, an up quark has changed flavour to become a down quark. This again is a weak interaction involving the weak force.